is happening. There's gotta be like another switch that can light that middle prism. Like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to- Oh, well, look at this. That's a bit devious, media vision. <laughs> really expecting me to mess with the camera there. All right, that was super hidden. I will not take the L on that. That was like, that was very hidden. Man, you have two switches, like, directly in front of each other, and then you have the other one just, like, in the corner. <laughs> For some reason. Because why not, dude? What's this? Nothing. Oh, it's another prophet. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Life is what I'm seeking. My desire is to pour life into a vessel of human form. Your dubious, stuck-up attitude. You're just like that woman. Ah, I see you've met Melody. You seem to have offended her, but I, I take the burnt brunt of her fiery wrath. She's back at the lab working diligently, but... She's not the type to keep her feelings bottled up, even as we speak. I don't know what it is you're scheming, but your actions speak of evil intentions. Stop this at once. Ah, does the light bother you? Sure, the heck ain't normal. Don't play smart with us. Your boorish behavior annoys me. Take a look around, this warm, shimmering light. Oh, how beautiful life is. The existence of this guardian will cease, but will continue to live on in new and beautiful form. A much more worthy demise than decaying in this forgotten shrine, wouldn't you agree? Not if we can stop it. But what must be done, must be done. I must get on with my work, understand? My motto is, work with a smile, always go the extra mile. But if you really insist on fighting, then I guess it can't be avoided. However, there's still much I need to do. So I'll leave the dirty work to someone more appropriate for the task. Janice. We're fighting Janice again. What is it, Janice? Do you not accept? If I cannot count on the Dark Knight, then I'll take matters into my own hands. Never mind. Janice was just chilling behind that pillar. I don't want to fight these guys again. Let's see if I can lower your defense. Why is your face blurred out? Oh, like, that's weird. It looks like you have, like, a minimize effect on you or whatever. I love this out of this world. I love this out there music. Really fits the profits. My evasion has been increased. Honestly, just gonna shield everyone here. Give Virginia some evasion if I can, and Gallows, I'm gonna have you heal the status ailment, which is confusion. Oh, you're just spamming confusion here.
and Virginia and Gallows are not going to do what I say, which is unfortunate. Oh, well, this fight sucks. The bullet passed through his main man's body. His click motions create an after image, confusing your party. Prevent the man's click movements. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> He's just spamming confusion. So I need to be like using magic on him or Clive's accuracy. Luckily, you're gonna go first. So, oh, Clive's is okay. Only Gallows has it. Perfect. You devastate. I don't even feel like firing unless I have ammo because I feel like he's gonna evade like everything. Gonna get Gallows' confusion healed up. Watching your move. Alright, he finally stopped with confusion. The fight sucks less now. Not as bad as I thought it was. Oh, you're also still confused. I thought you weren't. I guess confusion like wears off after a time because Clive got confused like first, I think. Trying this just in case. See if it hits. I doubt it will though. Okay, Gallows is still confused, so is Jet. It doesn't even matter what they do. Oh, there's disorder again. It's really been a great fight to have a confusion ward. Yeah, okay, you just can't shoot him, I guess, it, unless you're using lock-on, it seems. Watching your move. Do you like the Prophet music? Oh, thank you. Clive can lock on, but I have to pinwheel. Pinwheel with Virginia. Hopefully, he doesn't confuse Virginia. Oh, your confusion's gone. Now it's back. Honestly, that's fine. As long as Clive can get the confusion heal. Lock-on's, like, getting me through this. Because otherwise, this fight is a slog. Because he spams confusion and dodges, like, most attacks. And magic with Clive and Jet is not ideal. It's really only ideal with Gallows and Virginia. There we go. That's the damage I've been looking for. Hey, watch my move. Oh, the sword. Okay. I was hoping you would, like, waste your turn again. Virginia, you know what to do. <laughs> Just keep spamming this. As long as Gallows and Virginia are hitting every turn, then, like, we win eventually. 
It's only a matter of time. Go, refrigerate. Your perseverance has given you the upper hand in this drawn-out battle, but I've gathered enough guardian energy for the time being. The wise choice for me is to retreat. Your chime and ice gem. Hey, everyone's 15 except Clive, because Clive got amnesia for like those encounters. So he's a little behind. Oh, hey, Janice. Janice, I could have used you. The coordinate axis of my mutation is still unstable. My body hasn't fully adapted to its power, and there are times when it won't function like I want it to. The nerve of you to say such things, even your mutation is unreliable. Moreover, there would never... There never would have been a need to utilize the Guardians if only you had acquired the Arc Scepter in the first place. Do you realize the pain and suffering my body endures by trying to make contact with an intangible spiritual being? My apologies, but hey, no worries. I'll personally deliver the energy you've collected and escort you at, out of here. You have my word. You're not getting away with this. Oh, they're getting away. <laughs> this is another medium or something? You're coming with me. Let me show you the right way to kick their behind. Ah, Moonspark. I'll take that as a yes. Finally, another Guardian. Medium for the Dark Guardian, Celestu. Celestu was not the Guardian in Wild Arms 1 or 2, so this is a new Dark Guardian. I'm curious what your skills are. Ideally, giving you the Gallows is a smart thing to do, because Gallows... Gallows are Virginia, because they're the ones using magic the most. I want to see your skills. Sleep Ward is nice. FP save? That could be really good. Ooh, that actually would be good on Virginia, though, because then we can, um... Arcanas are, like, Mystics and Arcana, so we can, like, reduce Arcanas... thing. We'll try it on Gallows for now, but that can also work on Virginia. Wait. Oh, you can put gear on... Each guardian? Interesting. You could do so much setup with this. Is there a way I can just look at your skills? I guess I have to be in a battle. Alright. We'll keep you on gallows for now. Maybe I'll I can't save now. Just like the other fight art. Am I gonna have to like fight another boss? I hope not. Interesting. But yeah, we could try this on Gallows, maybe put it on Virginia, because reducing Mystic's cost would be great. Bum, bum, bum. Hello. What skills do you have? Feeble Mind, weakens target's willpower, lowering magic defense. Nice. Sleep. Okay, your status ailments. So, your skills aren't too useful. It's mostly the stat ups we care about and, like, uh, the PSS skills. Ba -ba 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 -bum. There's probably gonna be like another boss coming, which is why I can't save. I guess they do that just so you can't get yourself stuck in a hole, because if you save here, you can't leave the dungeon. There's no way you'll make it out in the shape you're in. 
Persistent, aren't we? Tell me, what motivates you to act with such passion? Persistence is the key to survival. It's a creature from ages past, but it shall suffice to buy us some time. Angle Moas, only sure hidden frenzy. Do not hold back. Oh, not this. I'm sure Angle Moas is Angle Moa. I think that's, there's like a, yeah, this is Angle Moa, essentially. It was called Angle Moa in Wild Arms 1. I think it's also in Wild Arms 2. You guys didn't see me do that because I, uh, I did that for YouTube only. But in Wild Arms 1, Angle Moa was annoying. In Wild Arms 2, I didn't fight Angle Moa yet, but I know he's in Wild Arms 2. But that is only on YouTube where I fought Wild Arms 1's Angle Moa and I hated it. He should have like 7 moon, I think. Agony effect. I think Angle Moa. Yeah, literally, literally what I just said. Angle Moa is a super boss in Wild Arms One. I fought him because I got my platinum trophy. I didn't do it on stream. I there's a. I did it for the YouTube playthrough though. I did fight Angle Moa, but it was very annoying. It was like the worst fight in Wild Arms 1. Like of the super bosses especially. But yeah, it is uh it's an optional boss. It's also in two, but I didn't fight him in two yet. Let me do a feeble mind. We could do more damage with uh spells. Oh, there's seventh moon. This is the move that did like stupid damage in Wild Arms 1. Alright, well I mean this is a main story boss so it's much weaker. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Ooh, building up FP with uh, Clive and Jet pretty well. I'm gonna Fragile just so we can do a little bit more damage with these two. It's Grey again? This might be a damaging move. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, in Wild Arms 1, he was like insufferable. The fight basically resorted to RNG because he can just choose to kill you like the first turn if he wanted. Oh my word! That did so much! Alright, now I know that is a damaging move. Have you Mystic here? Pop, boom, get your lock on, and then for Jet. Probably just normal attack and see how that goes, and do Gray again. That did a lot of damage. Considering using, depending on how many lucky cards I use, I have, I might use them. Or maybe a few. Again, they're only on one character, but I might, like, if I have enough lucky cards, I can, like, use one per character and get a lot of XP from this. Pending. Just to get a big boost in levels. Good 314. How many uh, lucky cards? I have nine. You know what? Yeah, let's, um... Let's use a lucky card. Let's use like four lucky cards. Just so I can get a big boost in levels. Okay, Gallows is spamming Gray. <laughs> like Gray is doing the most damage. Yeah, I could probably afford the... Uh... Yeah, do that. See you later, Zakobaiko. Welcome, or have a good night. 
it's like, uh, what time is it? It's like 6.40 my time? I guess you're in a different time zone, maybe? Time zones, man. They're rough. Oh, dear. I'm at 169. I can't lose. But yeah, have a good night. Thanks for coming, etc. Vod is here on Twitch. For later viewing. <laughs> 